today we have we can see the 87th shloka of Vishnu Sahasranama recitation and word by word meaning. Kumuda Kundara Kunda Parjanya Pavano Anilaha Amrudasho Amrudavapu Sarvaknya Sarvato Mukaha Kumuda Kundara Kunda Parjanya Pavano Anilaha Amrudasho Amrudavapu Sarvaknya Sarvato Mukaha Kumuda Kundara Kunda Parjanya Pavano Nilaha Amrudasho Mrutavapu Sarvaknya Sarvato Mukaha Now let's see the word by word meaning. Kumuda Kumuda means Bhagavan is the power who can make the earth to the maximum gladness. So Bhagavan can make all the creations in the earth to the ultimate happiness that the bliss but only one thing that Bhagavan expects from his creation is the maximum utilization of the talent he has provided them which is unique so the precise uh, action from any devotee is joyous expression for Bhagavan the infinite potential that Bhagavan has given to the creation has to be utilized to the maximum. So, when we put our maximum effort and we work hard, Bhagavan will bless us with the ultimate happiness. That is why Bhagavan is called Kumuda. Kundara. Ku means, Kum means earth. Dhara means where. Kundara means Bhagavan has taken the incarnation of Varaha where he took the earth or protect the earth or supported the earth or he made sure the earth was safe from Hiranyakshan when the Hiranyakshan hit the earth under the ocean. So Bhagavan took the avadaram of Varaha and with his one horn, he supported the earth and he killed the Asura Hiranyakshan. So, Bhagavan wants to make the earth as beautiful as the Kunda flowers. That's why Bhagavan is wearing the earth like a Kunda flowers. He is holding to close to the heart, the earth, to protect it. That's why Bhagavan is called Kundara. Kunda. Bhagavan is making sure the earth is as attractive as Kunda flowers. So Bhagavan has made sure he gave gift to the earth. Kum means earth. Da means give. So Bhagavan is giving the earth all the beauty that he has to make sure he is making the beauty earth as safer place to live for the creations. So for the mother and father, they make sure they will always make their kid look beautiful. They will dress up the kid so nicely in the same way Bhagavan is treating the earth as his baby with all his creations and he wants the earth to be most beautiful place to live. That's why whenever we cut down trees or whenever we are hurting the earth, the earth is giving us back the adverse reaction. So it is reacting because Bhagavan is stunned when his creation is going against the dharma while they are doing the adharma on earth. He is so uh, sad that he wants his creations to always make sure the earth to be safe and happy. 
he should they should not disturb the earth they should not disturb the peacefulness that's why bhagavan is called kunda parjanya parjanya means bhagavan is giving the earth rain bearing clouds so that it gives ultimate water for proper agriculture so that all the living creatures are extremely happy to have enough healthy food to eat so bhagavan is so much grateful to give the rain water the sun and all the seasons at the correct time to make proper help to farmers to do the farming and get the proper good food for all the creations to stay healthy and live long so that's why bhagwan is called parjanya pavana pavana means bhagwan is the most purest form so pavana means pure so all the impurities of our personalities are coming because of the maya and the materialistic attraction so the mind and intellect is impurity filled when some uh, material is attracting us or when our sense organs get attempted to become egocentric so when we become passionate to some materialistic thing rather than our ultimate goal we change our mind and we tend to um, make the surroundings in a very um, uh, tempting way to do the vasanas rather than peace of mind so our ultimate goal is to stay calm do our duty and we make everybody happy and we take our talents and do work to make sure we fo uh, focus on dharma and reach the ultimate goal of whatever our soul require our soul require moksha and we need to go to vaikuntha so when something impurified action happens bhagavan will tempt us to remind us that we should change our thought we should change our action we should we should change our words we should change our personality we should change our character so likewise we will slowly become purified that's why bhagwan is called pavana anilaha anila means bhagwan is as quick as an wind and he is everywhere like atmospheric air he is all pervading and he does not slip on any place he is always filled with vidya or knowledge and when he comes to the consciousness and he comes to um support any of the devotee he will never waste time he will be as quick as a wind that's why bhagwan is called anila amrutashu amrita means the nectar amrutasha means immortality because bhagwan ha is does not have any birth or death he will be there to make sure our desires are fulfilled completely so everybody has the desire to have no death that means we want to extend our life we want to enjoy our life we want to have the immortality that state will come when we do something that action will talk even our soul has departed from the body so whenever we do the path of dharma our actions will be blessed our actions will be helping some other person which make others also follow it so slowly our actions will be repeated repeated and we will be living here as an action rather than a 
body. So that's what we always want. Even when we go uh, and reach Vaikuntha, our actions, our thoughts, our words will still be remembered. So for that, we have to work when we live on earth. So we should do something good at least one a day. That's why Bhagavan is called Amrudasha. Amrita Vapu. Amrita means nectar. Amrita Vapu means the form. The form of immortality. That means the reality of Bhagavan. That means Bhagavan is present in all the yugas. Bhagavan is there to create a yuga and he is there to destroy a yuga. And Bhagavan is in his absolute glory every time. He does not have a start. He does not have an end. He is there throughout. That's why Bhagavan is called Amrita Vapu. Sarvaknya. Sarva means all. Aknya means the awareness, the luminance. Bhagavan is the ultimate power who gives every living creature the light of knowledge the inner world of happiness he is lighting up the principle of consciousness he is making sure he gives the pure knowledge the principle of how to live a life by taking the path of dharma and bhagavan shows that it is not impossible every person can try to the maximum limit to follow the path and he will be blessed with Bhagavan with peace, prosperity and ultimate happiness. That's why Bhagavan is called Sarvatna. Sarvato Mukaha. Sarvata means everywhere. Mukaha means face. Bhagavan has his face turned everywhere. That means Bhagavan can see everything, everywhere, anytime. Bhagavan is as a light of the sun. He is the light of a lamp which can enlighten everybody with knowledge, good thoughts, good actions, good words. So, Bhagavan has eyes, head and faces on all sides. That means he is watching us. He is caring us. He is there to comfort us at any point of time. That's why Bhagavan is called Sarvato Mukaha. Kumuda, Kundara, Kunda, Parjanya, Pavano, Anilaha, Amrdasho, Amrda Vapu, Sarvakna, Sarvato Mukaha, Kumuda, Kundara, Kunda, Parjanya, Pavano, Nilaha, Amrdasho, Amrda Vapu, Sarvakna, Sarvato Mukaha, Kumuda kunda rakunda parjanya pavano nilaka amrdasho mrtabapu sarvakna sarvato mukaha. Thank you.